Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this Lightroom tutorial I'm going to show you how to create amazing black and white photos in Lightroom using a few different tools. Since creating black and white photos uh, in Lightroom is not a one size fits all, I'm going to show you a couple different methods that I use on a regular basis to enhance your black and white photos. So I'm going to be using this photo today uh, just because it's a very flat photo. Um, so I'm going to show you how to create more depth when you're converting your black and white images and I'm going to show you how you can make it look really great. So let's get started. I'm going to first come over to the basic panel and I'm just going to hit black and white. Now when when this happens you can see everything is very flat there's not very much contrast or dimension it's just really a bad black and white conversion so you don't want to just rely on the black and white conversion you want to enhance it a little bit so let's take this image a little bit further with the enhancements and we can boost the contrast a little bit add in some blacks just to give it some more depth maybe add in more shadows and that's looking a lot better than before so the next thing I want to show you is we're going to scroll down to the HSL color and black and white panel and this is a fun little nifty trick um, so as you can see before this is the same photo there's a lot of green in this photo um, from the grass so what I'm going to do is what I am going to shift the green sliders so even though this is black and white these are like the green channel um, where your all your greens are being red so I'm going to just bring this down and it's going to deepen the greens in the photo now like I said you know this isn't a one-size-fits-all so it really depends on the picture that you're working with I know that there is some magenta in this photo um, especially in the skin tones you can look over here uh, so I'm going to come back and I'm just going to up the purples and the magentas and what you can even do to take this further is this little selection tool just click on it and then when you hover over your photo you can click on the area that you want to enhance so I'm going to just click on his skin so I want his skin to pop a little bit more so I'm going to click on his skin and I'm going to drag my mouse up and it's just going to brightly just going to make his skin a little brighter and as I do that you can see over here how my sliders are changing so I'm going to come back here and bring it down and I'll show you how that makes the change and then bring it back up now I don't want to go too crazy with this because then you can see his shirt is getting blown out so I'm going to bring it back down a little bit so this is a really good start to a great black and white photo um, another thing that I like to do to create more depth and if I don't want his shirt to be blown out I can come up here to my adjustment tool or my adjustment brush I already have my dodge tool selected and I'm just gonna go over his face a little bit with the dodge tool and that's just gonna brighten up his skin and that's that so we went from you know a bla basic black and white to a lot better in just you know these few different sliders that I showed you now the way that I normally edit my photos is I use my presets I'm gonna come down here to the Lux Matte collection this is a collection for Lightroom 4 and 5 I'm going to just apply my summer night black and white and that creates this really um, great starter black and white there's a lot of mood in this photo and but I do want to add some depth to the grass so I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna add in my greens make them darker and then I want to make his face a little brighter so I'm going to get that selection tool and just bring those tones up a little bit and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to my freebie set that you can grab on my site at twoblooms.com and I'm just going to apply the tried and true vignette and that's just going to add this really nice contrast 
and depth to the photo. So you can see with just a couple clicks, um, using a preset, making a couple adjustments, this is how I typically edit my photos. Um, I don't go through them and do all the things that I showed you here. This makes a pretty good black and white, but I really like this better because it has more highlights, more um, blacks, and just the tone in general is just better. So those are a couple ways that you can transform your black and white images into something very beautiful. So I hope you found this tutorial useful and that you'll be able to use this information on your photos. So if you found this useful, why don't you subscribe to our channel so you can get updates on Lightroom tutorials from me. So thanks for tuning in, and if you're interested in the freebie collection or the Luxmat collection, I will leave a comment a link in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.